Hello everybody, it's me, and today we're going to be talking about Blackout 2024. What is it? What's it all about? Uh, it's basically just a deplatforming campaign. Twitter users, Facebook, TikTok, anyone on social media, you go block, uh, unfollow these people that are failing to speak up for the issues and the genocide being faced by Palestinians in Gaza, Rafa, and all over Palestine. Because when you have a platform... You have an obligation to use it to voice the concerns of the masses and to use that platform for good because it is your voice. You are being lifted up and heralded by a group and as a society and so on by adoring fans. And if you don't speak on things that are affecting real life people, but you choose to rather focus on the mundanity and these things that don't matter – Despite the fact you have the ability to help people and you don't do that, that makes you a fucked up individual. There are people on YouTube, there are celebrities, there are actors, there are influencers, all sorts of things that have been silent on it. Not even a, a single word on it. Now, yes, I do understand that there are things like, well, we can't say everything because of, well, obviously, like, what about the, like, my manager or so on? Or like, oh, what about the, my contracts and so on? I'll, I'll get out of a job. It's like, if it's worth your job and you're already rich, go for it. You will get public support from an entire generation wanting to see innocent civilians stopped being bombed. You will be heralded as a beacon of progressiveness and having human basic empathy and so on and basic compassion for people's struggles in other parts of the world that don't directly affect you, despite the fact that it is your tax dollars and our tax dollars and the country that we are living in that is actively influencing and participating and being complicit in what is going on in Gaza and Palestine. So, let's go through some names, right? Kardashians. Fuck them. One of them said a really tone-deaf, was it Kim? One of them said some really tone-deaf shit, being like, we should all be free on some fucking all lives matter shit. Like, no fucking shit, duh, of course. But that's not what we're talking about right now. That's not in the same vein of mentioning Haiti, the Congo, Sudan, and uh, other places that are being impoverished under imperialistic colonization at the hands of Western nations. That is a catch-all term to try and garner support and sympathy without actually saying anything important. Yes, free everyone. I've said free everyone, but that's because I actually believe it. I'm not just saying it. Let's, uh, so, oh, Haley Bailey. Let them eat cake. Are you a fucking moron? At the Met Gala, while people are being bombed, innocent people thousands of miles away are being bombed because of the disparities that are caused by the system that we are under and using our tax dollars you fucking say some Mary Antoinette shit that was used to spit in the face of peasants during the French Revolution? You should be put under a fucking guillotine for that. Like, come on. What a tone deaf thing to say. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. Who else? I know Billie Eilish was on there, but she showed some support. Uh, Justin Bieber. Fuck Justin Bieber. <laughs> actively supports Israel not in a way of being like here's one thing I want to get don't want to get twisted right many people I guarantee whenever they say they support Israel they don't mean that they are supporting the genocide Palestinians it's probably ignorance and that they have some empathy where they hear the word Jewish hate and anti-semitism which have now become two separate different things because anti-Semitism is now being weaponized by Zionist to then 
twist that and be like, oh, well, we have to support Israel because they're Jewish and, you know, all, what about all the shit that Jewish people went through? Like, yeah, but that that's not them. They are actively weaponizing trauma of other Jewish people to excuse crimes against humanity in the same vein that, you know, 1945 Germany was doing. Exact same thing. Concentration camps and everything. So, I want to get that out of the way. But also, just fuck Justin Bieber. Everything that he said. He has not even gone back. He, despite all the the smokescreen of war and everything, despite the fact it's not a war, it's the closest thing I can say to describe the phenomenon of, like, the curtain being unveiled. Um, let's see. Oh, my God. This one fucking hurts to say. Keanu Reeves. Despite being Lebanese and being hurt by, you know, Israel and so on, he actively supports Israel. That is not a way of being like, oh, well, I'm just supporting Jewish people. No, actively taking pictures with Netanyahu and, you know, going to events and so on. It is so disparaging to see I want to say and hopefully be able to be proven wrong that hopefully that he has moved past that especially with the fact that you know he has played characters like Neo and oh I don't know Johnny fucking Silverhand Ugh. insane to me that, that that is that's that's the case um let's see who else a lot of celebrities that are hold on really quick okay 2024 list here we go do 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 here we go yeah the Jenner family uh Nicki Minaj uh Bruno Mars has been saying some shit Taylor Swift oh my Oh my god, Taylor Swift just pisses me off, like, genuinely, just absolutely pisses me the fuck off with all of her private jet shit, all of her silence on, on uh, Palestine, and all sorts of other stuff, despite the fact that she is such a big influencer, and she can literally influence massive amounts of people. Just by saying, because she was like, you know, spoke out for the president, right? But you don't speak out for any actual issues in the world right now. Not being like, you know what, I donated a lot to homelessness. Or I donated to the cause in Palestine. Oh, I donated to fucking, like, all sorts of shit. It's crazy. Um, Selena Gomez has done some shit. Uh, Ariana Grande as well uh, has done some crazy stuff. James Charles, if I remember correctly, had said some really bad takes on it. Oprah, get out of here. Lizzo was has done some horrible shit recently, uh, ex including, ironically, fat phobia, um, despite the fact of being so body positive. And then also saying shit about the situation going on. Doja Cat. Doja Cat has done some crazy shit. Just no... Get her out of here. Uh, Jeffree Star is another one, which, who am I surprised? James Charles, I already said that. Let's see, Demi Lovato. Get out of here. Um, who else? Beyonce. Out. All these names, uh, they've said something in regards to either being just tone deaf, ignorant, or so on. And this is not just a campaign of being like, of being hateful and calling people out and being like, fuck you. It's also supposed to be eye opening for these people to understand that they need to use their platforms, you know, power, responsibility, that sort of shit. And that whenever they see their huge loss and following, even if it's HR shit, if you at least say something, even if you don't mean it, despite how scummy that is, it still says something. It still shows something. Uh, let's see, even more. Courtney Baker, uh, Tyra Banks, Chris Jenner, 
Kendall Jenner. Um, let's see, Miley Cyrus. I already said Miley, uh, which sucks because she's been actually doing some really good music. Um, Deborah Messing and Kim. The Kardashians are on here. Drew Barrymore. And yeah, that's it. That that is there. There's even even so many more uh, celebrities than that. But keep going, absolutely keep going. Deplatform these guys, and I'll even throw in a few YouTubers as well. Mr. Beast, twentieth, uh, twenty twenty sixth birthday, gave away twenty six Teslas, but never did anything for Palestine. Never acknowledges anything, despite his philanthropic work doing shit for Africa and African communities and nations and all sorts of other shit. He hasn't even put into the content wheelhouse, grindhouse that he has of making content out of it. He hasn't done anything. He has been utterly silent and it just screams fence sitter of being scared of losing your platform. Guess what? You're already losing your platform. Who's another one? Uh, Jack Septicai, ally, complete total ally. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal, total ally. Oh my god, total ally. Mark Hamill, fuck Mark Hamill. Oh my god, how do you become Ozai and Joker mixed into one? How do you do that? I don't get it. I I I do not. I don't get it. Let's see. Who are some other um, like YouTubers? Oh man. Um. I forget if uh, Charlie has said anything on Palestine Moist Critical. Uh, definitely should be, especially with the fact that he t constantly talks about all the shit going around on Twitter and all this other stuff. That The fact that he's not talking about it, if he isn't, he should be. Um, there's a lot of people that you can just kind of see and I call them out. They need to make something. And yes, you need to make something on it. So if you ever wondered what you would be like during the fucking Holocaust or during slavery of chattel slavery or during civil rights or during any sort of mistreatment of any class at any point that wasn't the elite class during all of history of humans oppressing other humans right now determines where you would sit on that history. Not speaking is what you would have done back then. Don't say, oh, well, I would have done something because you're not saying it now. You wouldn't have said something back then. Yeah, hindsight's twenty twenty. but here's your hindsight. Here is the facts. There are concentration camps. There are millions of displaced people. There are nearly hundreds of thousands of people starving to death. There are tens of thousands of people dying. There are thousands of people dying a day. It did not start on October 7th. It did not do any of this. It has been going on. It is a fundamental Zionistic ideal to displace Palestinians and to do colonialization. Anyway, other than that, there will be resources down below if I remember to put them down there. If not, I'll end up putting them in the comments. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. List off some other things. Uh, list off some other celebrities youtubers and so on if you have a platform if you have if you have a thousand subscribers if you have ten thousand subscribers if you have a hundred two hundred fifty five hundred thousand fifty thousand anything a million fucking anybody that has a massive following and has a social media presence and has people telling them to talk out about a genocide it doesn't matter how you say it you need to talk out against this genocide. 